this game. Even, even on our game against Midiama, I was still working on Kotoko because I've never worked in Ghana before. This is my first time to work in Ghana. So it took me a little while to watch their videos, their last games, <coughs> to really prepare on them because uh, the system they are playing is exactly the system I'm trying to build with the team. But I realized that they've mastered it, so I have to change the system and adopt any system that we can win. But now we, we've agreed on a motto that if we don't score, we don't concede. So I believe my boys, they, they really work according to the instructions. Things, and in fact, they, they did what we are expecting. Yeah, and some, some of the defending today was brilliant from Insu, Anotibedu, from Abla, from Justice. It was superb the way they defended today. Yes, uh, w w when I came, I, I, I really started because getting a new job without games left, you have to start everything. So I started with a goalkeeper. I tried to work. Unfortunately, my, my number one was in the national team. He just came. So I worked from the right back, left back, everything. We start everything all over again. Because taking an assignment like this, you can't build up. So you have to start like a national assignment. So that's what we did and then we work out. And your goalkeeper was brilliant today. He's actually the man of the match. Obin Sachre, he had an amazing game today. Yeah. In fact, uh, you can see where, where, how the way they were carrying me. We really talk about this game, and the boys promised me that, Coach, we're going to make you proud. And that's exactly what they've done. So I really appreciate my boys, and thanks to God for the win. Yeah, what about the finish from Kelvin Obain? How, how yeah. good was that? You can see we were down by a goal. And then the, the, the system we're playing changed. So I decided, that, okay, now we have to go with this system so that I'll get three in the midfield and then one up front, since you are down by a player. So that is what it works out. And then Kevin knows that's exactly what I asked him to do. And that's what he, he did. And then we got a goal. So I know definitely we're going to get a goal at the end of the day. Finally, you made two very early substitutions in that first half. What was the thinking that went into it? You brought it out in their goal and, 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 and at the address yeah. early in the first half. Okay. You, you can see it was on and off. Sometimes they cut the call up the game, we'll go down. We have to, I realized that now there's an error from those positions, so I quickly made that change before we concede. So that's what happened. And you can see the change I did took very effective in all the, uh, the positions. So it's something that we work on. And the boys, none of them was frowning or anything because they agree. We spoke about it, that you can go in for some few minutes. We don't wait first half before making a change. It's up to the situation and how the game is going. So that is what exactly we work on and then we got it. Good. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Coach Ogum, considerations on the defeats to begin with, but... Um, not a Kotoko team we've seen in recent weeks, but it's been a reoccurrence in your last three home games, losing to Legon Cities, then drawing to Indiana Stars in the manner in which you drew. And this defeat, after your opponents went down by a man, the home form is slipping away or sliding away a bit. How would you describe this one and why is that? Yeah, in the first place, I think uh, when you are playing at home, you need to show a lot of agency uh, in your play. Um, uh, we somewhere in the first half, I think we showed that um, we tried as much as possible to make sure that uh, we keep the ball high up in their area to, to, to create those spaces around them. Uh, they had a solid defense, um, tried to block those final passes into those spaces, uh, which made it very difficult for us to actually have uh, clear chances um, at goal. But, um, as to why, I think when you play at home, definitely you need to um, try as much as possible to play double your effort because the opponents are coming to play Kotoko. Uh, you know, every team coming to play Kotoko counts with triple um, effort. Uh, apart from that, there are a few issues of injuries um, here and there uh, about how we play at home recently. Yeah, and, and, and today your, your top maximum the Tuga, who has scored 19 goals, incredible season he's had, missed some opportunities, many would say, on, on another day he scores. Is he suffering from maybe loss of confidence from th those two penalties he missed in the last time, the last time your team played here? I don't think so, because uh, right after that, I've been engaging him, I've been talking to him that he's the top scorer of the league, 
and it happens. I mean, if you look at uh, recently, it happened to Benzema when he also makes twice from the spot. By the next game, he scored. So I use some of these scenarios to let him understand that he's not the first person uh, to be in such a situation. So he should try as much as possible to forget about it and make sure that he focuses on the next game. And he's been smiling, he's been looking good at uh, training. Uh, today, just that, I don't know, he just couldn't uh, get those balls behind the net when he got those chances. That, that way, are we, uh, the home form has to improve, coach. You've touched on reasons why I mean, it hasn't worked in, in the last couple of games, but something needs to be done to change and improve the performance. Uh, what do you think has to be done rapidly to get that wins back? I think the players need to gather the, the courage to be able to play in such situations. Uh, they need um, to be very confident. Uh, you can't play Kotoko and you can't play on your own home grounds. They need to gather that courage and be able to play. And we also need our supporters to be behind us. I mean, uh, it's, it's a league. Uh, uh, sometimes you go up, sometimes you come down. Uh, once we come down, it doesn't mean that's the end. Uh, they need to be behind us. This is not the time for them to distance themselves from us. This is the time we need them most. Uh, a team needs the supporters most when things are not going well, when uh, we are not getting the results for them. Uh, so I will, I will entreat them. I will, I, will, I will plead with the supporters to be behind the team. And uh, there shouldn't be so much uh, uh, blame game as to this person, this person. Once you try to single out so many players, it affects them uh, physically, uh, mentally, and uh, working on them becomes very difficult. So uh, they are the same players that got us to where we are, but they are not finding their rhythm. If you come to training, we train very well. Everybody trains very well, but when we are playing at home, we don't find our rhythm. So they need to be behind us. Uh, they need to be behind us. Once they are behind us, I'm sure uh, we, can, we, can, we can bounce back. We have a few more games to play, one home game. The rest are on the road. We only have to make sure that we, we get their support and then we'll get the points. Finally, before you go, um, in the week, the GFA released a disciplinary committee report on match fixing that implicated one of your players, uh, Richmond Lamte. What's the class position on the match fixing and, and the release? And how is the club backing or why has the club backed Lamte? For that one, I don't want to comment about it. But for the player, I've, I've, I've spoken with him. I've made him... Uh, to understand that as a coach, I'm behind him. And you saw when he came in, uh, even though he's lost his match fitness, but when he came in, he brought some agency uh, into the game. As to the legal aspect and what have you, I leave it to the administrative people within the club to handle it. So I don't want to comment about that. All right, coach, very well said. Uh, Commissioner, on the defeat, all the best subsequent games. Thank you. Thank you.